What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we are going to cover a few bits of information we have seen come from the past few days. But hey you sexy bastards, if you do want to support me and the channel, hitting that thumbs up button truly helps out and I do appreciate that support. Okay, so earlier today we had a teaser for the upcoming Bungie Destiny 2 stream of the September DLC which will showcase tomorrow. By the way, if you are wondering where you can watch it, you can watch it on Twitch and on YouTube. Date and time is June 5th, 9am PT. Details and links are in the video description. So the teaser basically shows Cade landing in at the reef with a fellow guardian which I believe is a representation of our guardians in game. Now there are a few interesting things here but the fact we see the actual reef for the first time confirms its role in the full DLC. Now a few days back we had a leak over on 4chan of supposed details on this DLC including its name. Now we can see that leak on screen now. It will be called the Summoning of the Nine. It will be released on September 8th. Storyline revolves around Aldrin resurfacing with an army of fallen soldiers to rescue his sister from the Nine. Nine are forced to unleash the Nastrif to stop Aldrin's army. Brand new enemy race avoid demons. Nasrif are led by Nazrak, the main antagonist of the expansion besides Uldren. Nazrak is a former 10th member of the Nine who was banished for betraying his brethren. The expansion's new raid is called Tomb of Eternity and revolves around stopping Nazrak for good. The Nine are met during the expansion's campaign and help you stop Nazrak. 10 new story missions and 4 strikes, 2 new destinations, the reef and the void, brand new cooperative activity known as the court. Details are scarce in this at the moment, but it's a brand new PvE activity new to the Destiny series. The expansion is being officially revealed on Tuesday. Tuesday being tomorrow when the actual DLC will be revealed. Now the name of these DLCs most of the time are not right, but there are other aspects it mentions we see here mainly the reef being a destination. Now going back to the teaser, we saw today it's clear that this DLC is based somewhat around the Fallen, going off the symbol. What faction it is though? At the moment I don't believe we know. The DLC reveal is called the Destiny 2 Forsaken. Not gonna lie, when I first saw this I thought it said Foreskin. What kind of enemy race is that? Raid boss, giant penis, okay then, but it is the Forsaken. Now no doubt this is the name of the Fallen faction. Now I've actually already saw a Forsaken Fallen enemy in the game already. Remember the mission, I believe it was on Titan where we had to track down the power cell. The Hive Knight and the Fallen Captain are fighting. You have to pick a side. This Fallen fella is called Mithrax the Forsaken. I mean we may be off here and this may just be a coincidence, but it does kind of make sense. Now I'm not saying this is a representation of what we read from this supposed leak, but not to completely dismiss that leak, what we read here could possibly still stand. And I do love the idea still, but to more people we will see. Now back to the teaser trailer and there's still a few things I want to cover. Now we see this guardian here besides Cade. This hunter wields some interesting things. Now I saw all over Twitter, I was spammed with messages, I've seen videos and so forth. And that is of people saying the hunter is holding the last word. Now if you don't know what the last word is, please stop the video and leave. The last word is an exotic from the early days of Destiny 1, a classic to say the least, a true exotic weapon. My first ever use of it you will see on the screen now, it was just so damn good. Heavy ammo inbound. Oh. Heavy ammo available. Now many people believe this is what the hunter is holding, 
When first seeing it and watching the teaser on Twitter, it was hard to tell what it was, but seeing so many sources tweeting about it, seeing so many videos being made about it, I actually thought people had spotted something I hadn't. Now I'd love to see the last word back, I really would. But guys, whatever this weapon is, it isn't the last word, unless it's wearing an ornament. We can see on screen now that it's just not the last word, but whatever this thing is, I'd put my money on it being an exotic weapon. Just going by its design, the shape is awesome and it truly does look unique. But only time will tell guys. Another thing I saw people stating was the Hunter is wearing the Mask of the Third Man exotic helmet from Destiny 1. I apologise for being a Grinch here, but this Hunter is wearing the Lucky Pants, so he can't possibly be wearing the Mask of the Third Man exotic. I apologise people. The helmet does look great though, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah guys, tomorrow is going to be a busy day for sure. Not only is there this stream for us to chill out and take in, faction rallies also arrive tomorrow. I still don't know what faction to go with people. I mean, I want the Graviton Lance Catalyst, I don't want to miss out on it and what would be a even better weapon than what it already is. But the Sunshot is kind of pulling me away from it. The Sunshot will be the best in its class by a mile and it could surprise people. I think I'm just going to flip a coin when the time comes. Who knows? But on that note guys, I am out. I will be back tomorrow with coverage of all the good stuff we hear from the Bungie Destiny 2 reveal stream of the full DLC, the foreskin. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, truly does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.